Okay, hello guys. As you can see, today I'm doing something different. I'm go not going to play game, even though technically I am going to play a game. <laughs> but today I'm going to show you guys how to do a start menu in Unity, Unity 3D, ex especially. And uh, as you can see here, I have already started off with mine. Uh, actually, I'm going to explain you what I have done here. This is really, really easy. You just create a cube right here, and you scale the size uh, how you want it. And then, you, when you have your photo you want to be using as a background for the start menu, you are going to just drag it from a folder. Mm, right where you want it to be I have I have everything here textures just drag it here and when it's here you drag it on the cube and it will be there and how you uh, how you do these texts is you create a 3d text and you write and change the color and so on when you have everything in place what you want to do is when you have your text uh, text like this chosen uh, you want to add a box collider I have already done it you just go here component um, physics and box collider and this green box will spawn ar uh, around this text which means that this green box will be working as a trigger so uh, here is how it's gonna look when I start the game it's gonna look like this and what I'm actually gonna expla explain to you guys here is that when I hover my mouse over the start game button it will change its color and when I go out it will change back to red this is really simple and you are going to need to use scripting a little bit you are going to use javascript javascript i'm going to be using it um, so let's go to my script folder i should actually um, well never mind okay i have i have this right here but i'm gonna delete it and I'm going to create a new JavaScript. I'm going to name it color change and remember to use capital. Yeah, you're going to start your mono develop and you're going to delete all this. Okay, so do as I say and follow up with me. This is really simple. First, you are going to start with function on mouse enter and columns then you are going to open a bracket press enter tab and here is where you type in the command which will happen when mouse enters the the trigger which in this case will be the green box over i mean around start game text and quit game text okay um, so actually how it's gonna go is it's render re renderer dot material dot color and wait a second yep it's it's renderer dot material dot color space eagles space color with a capital C um, and here here you're going to put dot and the color you want it to be when mouse enters the text in my case I'm going to put in green and then you just press space delete and close the brackets right there we are going to do this again I will copy this, you can do the same. We are going to do another function on mouse 
exit and columns open the brackets and tab and I'm going to paste this and I'm going to change this to red and oh wait I forgot an important thing you need to put these in the end and then you delete and close the brackets right here um, so this this is the basic script you are going to be using for this I I'm pretty sure it should be working just like this you have the script right here and now you are going to drag it in oh wait a second start game and quit game and yeah as you can see here it is right here I'm going to delete my old scripts which got corrupted okay so let's try it out okay it's it's still doing the same I don't know what is going on with this that it changes the color to black but it's working as I meant it to work but the color is not right I don't know why but it changed it changes the color to black I am going to look into this and I'm going to find out what's going on but I hope you guys understood something about this tutorial and I hope you guys can go and make your own start menu for your video games now.